Is India's new Su-30 MKI fighter squadron with BrahMos missiles enough to calm China in the region? A new Sukhoi Su-30 MKI squadron, equipped with the Indo-Russian BrahMos missiles, vastly extends India's air power in the Indian Ocean. Can it help to counter the growing influence of the Chinese Navy? In a step toward enhancing jointness, Chief of the Defence Staff General Bipin Rabat inaugurated a new squadron at Tunjabur Air Force Station in India's southern state of Tamil Nadu. Su-30 MKI along with the BrahMos will be a game-changer which will extensively enhance the security of the maritime domain, Rabat said. Expansion of Indian air power in the region Indeed, the BrahMos anti-ship missile, a success story of Indo-Russian defence partnership, is a highly potent weapon boasting supersonic speeds with a range of about 300 kilometers and renders most countermeasures invalid. The missile was reportedly successfully test-fired from a Sukhoi-30 MKI in May 2019, scoring a direct hit on the target. The Sukhoi, which have a range of around 1,200 kilometers, significantly increase India's capability to strike targets deep in the Indian Ocean and to virtually cover most shipping lanes in the region. The new number 222 squadron, named Tiger Sharks, will initially have around 5 to 6 fighter jets but gradually it will operate with the full strength of 18 aircraft. This is the first fighter squadron to be set up by the Indian Air Force in its southern command covering the Indian Peninsula. Retired Air Vice Marshal Munmohan Bahadur stated, the requirement of having a permanent footprint of Indian air power over the Indian Ocean was lacking. With the basing of Sukhoi at Tunjabur, this deficiency would be overcome to a certain extent due to the deep strike capabilities of the aircraft.